I reposted a clip that you had of Whitney talking about, I don't just sing, I entertain. I am a singer, but I know how to entertain. A lot of people can sing, but don't know how to entertain. And that Star Search clip of you from such a young age embodies that. You didn't mm. just sing, you entertain and have been doing so since then, since the beginning. When you look at that, do you see what we see? I do. I do. I see what you see. And that is the wonderful thing about YouTube. <laughs> 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 is that, you know, YouTube has me as a child, you know? Yeah. Where people can access to see me as a child. So I get to have those moments also. That clip is so contagious. When I, I'm just like, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. He is crazy, like a grown man. Like he's been doing this for 50 years. Okay, and at that point, it was only two years. It's funny, when I see that clip, I also think about how um, there were people at the time who took issue with the fact that I was going to be on the show because I was already on TV. I was already on Kids Incorporated. Oh, so, 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 so <laughs> Right, like why he get to be on there? But I was able to be on there because I was a part of an ensemble with Kids Incorporated, this was a solo opportunity. Yes. You yes. know, um, and so many memories come up when I see that clip. Also, I only performed on there because Shanice did it the year before. He's also amazing. Yeah. And it was just an opportunity to sing. And I really loved to sing. At that now, age. You, you entertained us too. You didn't. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said you went up there singing Mary Had a Little Lamb, like, and then right. you, you had the, the cuteness, the camera angles, you looking at us. You, I mean, I was just like, wow. I mm. said, Shirley Temple, I should have said mm. Michael, Michael mm. Jackson, because mm. just the charisma, you know what I'm saying, at Thank such you. an age, and then having the vocal ability to deliver with your face and your body is giving, <laughs> I'm like, Thank wow. You. And you know, and then to fast forward and see Rasan on stage uh, coming up in Chicago in 2023, mm -hmm. you about to get the same thing on mm -hmm. a dip deeper, different, you know, evolutionary level. But mm -hmm. that same core mm -hmm. remains. Mm -hmm. It does, it does, it does. Um, that, moment was wonderful for me. Uh, it turned bittersweet because after I won, the other two um, competitors in the category, when we went backstage, they were heartbroken and they were crying and their fathers were comforting them. And it was in that moment that I realized that I was not about the competitive aspect of mm. singing. And that that wasn't something that made me feel good. Because mm -hmm. for me, it wasn't about winning. Mm -hmm. It was an opportunity to sing and be mm -hmm. 
post, mm -hmm. but I wasn't there to win. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I yeah. had already experienced a win by being on TV, but when I saw how heartbroken they were, and them crying, and then like their fathers comforting them, I was like, mm, mm. I don't really like that part of it. Which is why, you know, with these competitive singing shows now, like, I respect the fact that it creates opportunities for people. Mm -hmm. I just don't like yeah. the competitive part of it. <clears throat> and yeah. that stemmed from Star Search when I, after winning and then seeing how much hope people put into that moment and, and their desire to achieve a win and an opportunity, you know, because my life was not based on that and rooted in that and, mm -hmm. and how my trajectory has been, I don't identify with that, mm -hmm. with the desire, like, oh my God, I want you yeah. so bad. Yeah. You know, I understand it though. Mm -hmm. And, um, but yeah, that moment I just was like, "Oh, this is this doesn't feel good." Mm. You know what I mean? So I won, and was like, "Oh, I won!" But then it was like, "Oh, right, right." Because let's not forget that you were still a kid too. Exactly. You know, and I wasn't the type of kid that was like, "Oh, whatever." You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I, I actually took in the moment. I was actually present to walking by and seeing mm. and stopping to watch. The fathers comfort their sons, you know, mm -hmm. and that didn't make me feel good. Wow. Well, I'm I'm glad because you're a collaborative spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And totally. and and so you're supported, but you also support others, and uh, we need more of that. Just period. Mm -hmm. No matter Great. what you do, no matter what you do, 